President Biden and Vladimir Putin getting ready for their rumble. It's a high-stakes summit tomorrow. Biden is promising to hold Russia accountable and confront Putin. But all of a sudden, his tough talk of the past has turned to praise. Watch. You know Vladimir Putin. You think he's a killer? Mm-hmm. I do. He's bright. He's tough. And uh, I have found that uh, he is a, uh, as they say, when he used to play ball, a worthy adversary. So which one is it, Richard? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think he's a worthy adversary. He's also an author authoritarian. Uh, can I, can I cannot, pro cannot pronounce the word today. Authoritarian. Um, mm -hmm. But I also, you know, listen, going into this, one, I think we've talked about the media's beat this story to death when this, this summit. But I do think that uh, I'm giving a lot of hope to Biden that he's going to get this right. No president's been able to get this right. Um, most presidents have failed uh, at creating... They have. New, uh, creating, administration yes. after administration. Especially Nobody can get this guy right. No. So maybe the idea of having a singular press conference so Putin can't upstage you or steal your soundbite or steal your thunder is or the so way to go. Or so you can't embarrass yourself. That part, because we saw that happen with Donald Trump when he had his And we saw with that with Putin Joe Biden repeatedly at uh, the G7. Uh, I don't know about I that. I don't know, Libya and Syria really wandering into the I wrong... don't know about that. I, oh, think, I right. think I guess they all look alike, right, oh. Joe? I think that Joe Biden's going to do a great job. He's been on the scene for a number of years. He's served as a vice president for eight years. He has a first-hand seat to how this thing could be done, what went wrong, mm -hmm. what went right, and I think he has the opportunity to get it right by calling out Russia's military buildup, by calling out the cyber attacks, and by calling out the hybrid warfare that we see Russia engaging in in Eastern Europe. So I do think... And you know what Putin's going to say? He's going to say, no, we didn't do it. Prove it. Of prove course it. he's going to say that, but that's we the reason why you don't have a joint press conference it. with him. Yeah, well, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, there were not high expectations the first time President Trump met with Putin. In fact, people said that, you know, he's a Russian asset and Putin is uh, the great puppet master who's really controlling the Trump administration. Why is Biden getting a pass here? Well, I think what Trump understood is what Reagan understood and, and Bush 41 and, and even Clinton understood is that when it comes to these high stakes one on one summits, a lot of this is personal relationship and you can insult the country, you insult the leader that makes things tough. So it looks like Joe Biden has a little bit of what I call imposter syndrome. Mm. Mm. I know it because I have it. It's, it's kind of an insecure feeling that you're not worthy of the job you have. I see Joe Biden kind of grappling with the fact that, wait a second, I'm the leader of the free world here, and uh, two months ago I called this guy a killer, and I'm on the eve of a big diplomatic meeting. Maybe I should soften this up after I have to sit down with him for four hours. It's all like it's happening in real time. He seems uncomfortable on the world stage. What I think the American people care about is not some dissident that no one can pronounce his name disappeared or something like that. I get that that's important Alexei from a Navalny? human that's rights a very, perspective. Very, very important story. I get that that's, that's important. That's actually pretty critical. That's the one of the first things people, that he asked. For the American people. I think the American people care about the hacks that jacked their gas prices up and the hacks on big beef that screwed up yeah. the barbecue. But they're all That's connected. what the American people care about the most. And you want to see the president confront the leader of Russia on those issues and actually do something afterwards that has some teeth. Mm -hmm. Why no bilat? I mean, this is your wheelhouse. You, you have mean, been like, in this why no press conference? Y yes. Why no bilateral press conference with I mean, Putin? Why by the himself? White House explanation is that they didn't want to give uh, Putin an international platform, but by agreeing to a summit or suggesting a summit, you gave him an international platform. So I don't really buy that. Um, I, 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 you have to wonder if they thought that it might not be good to have them on stage together. Um, because, you know, Joe Biden might call him a killer behind... It's like being a Twitter troll, yeah. right? And then, like, it, but face-to-face, -face, like, you would never say that to somebody's face right. unless you mean it. I don't know how they're going to meet for four and a half hours, four to five hours. Ooh. Like, what are you going to talk about for four to five hours? That's a really long time. I think that they'll come out of it with some sort of thing where they can agree on a climate change, Ugh. something or no. other, and the media will swoon, and everyone will be so pleased, but he has to come out of it with something on the ransomware. Yeah. He has to, because that's actually affecting real people. Plus, there are Americans who are being held unjustly, in Absolutely addition right. to Alexei Navalny, that issue. But there are Americans who are being held unjustly. And if, if Biden could actually get something done there, that would, that would be progress. And they're talking about a prisoner swap. So we'll see if that happens. What's the most important thing to tackle at the summit? Oh, well, I think the big, the big story we learned is that Jesse Waters has imposter, imposter syndrome. <laughs> I mean, that's like, I, I don't know why that is. A good, that is our lead tomorrow, and I'm writing that monologue. Uh, uh, unless, unless you have imposter, imposter syndrome, where you're faking that you have imposter yeah, syndrome. Yeah, that's more sympathy. like it. Yep. So look, here, the, here, the, problem, the problem with Biden, President Biden, is you don't know 
where he's coming from, and you don't know where he's going, right. much like himself. And you, with the contrast is with, you always knew where Donald Trump was coming from. He had two words, America first. And I think with Joe Biden, it's, you know, America will see. I don't even know. And you kind of notice the trend when you're looking in the rearview mirror that a lot of stuff Trump did does, that now doesn't seem as impulsive as it was before, and that maybe he actually knew what he was doing, like how to be how to be socially amenable with dictators and then behind the scenes go after them and work something out. I think that the one lesson is we're such a lucky country that we can endure and even survive not because of our leadership, but in spite of our leadership. Yeah. Because we put people in this job that clearly he's not up to it. You know, Biden can bumble through this thing with these long, frightening pauses, and we all have to sit there quietly and go, holy hell, what's going on? That pause that went on forever, and meanwhile, God forbid, Trump held his gl glass of water with two hands or <laughs> shuffled down a ramp, that slippery ramp, and everybody went ballistic, but Biden acts like Mr. Magoo on Magic Mushrooms, <laughs> and we all have to say, oh, you know, nothing to see here. Is there a baseball game on? Because it's boring. Are they going to ask for transcripts like they did in the calls with Putin and Trump? Yeah, I don't know. That's, I don't know. That's yeah. a good question. Well, at least there'll be staffers to take yes. the transcripts this time around than the last time. It was a perfect call. <laughs> well, he's a, so he's they a say. Russian nesting <laughs> doll that at the ranch. former President Trump. <laughs> uh, coming up next. Uh, hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.